Tonight we take you for a ride in the very cool 2006 BMW Z4 Coupe. It's the BMW that Bond never got, with a long stealth-like bonnet, headlights that could house Stinger missiles, a lean, mean front grille, and a rear end to die for. The Z4 had it all, but for BMW and Bond, it was too little, too late. In the summer of 1999, the final plans for the BMW Z4 were finally approved, but it wasn't until 2002 the Z4 Roadster finally hit the roads, and it was an instant success. And it wasn't until another four years later that we saw something a little bit more special, the Z4 Coupe, and this was the end result. The expectations of the Z4 was to compete directly with the likes of Porsche Boxster, Mercedes SLK, Honda S2000, and it did exactly that. very rarely see on the road these days, with a production life of only two years, only a little over 17,000 were ever created worldwide. This car has an inline six-cylinder engine and produces 195 kilowatts, which is 261 brake horsepower at 6,600 RPM, which means it'll go from 0 to 100 in 5.6 seconds. Now that's not overly quick by today's standards, however, it definitely puts this car in the fun factor category. For 13 years old, the interior of this car has been very well maintained. There's no wear and tear on the seats. The steering wheel looks like it's absolutely brand new. And the dashboard and dials, well, they're not too far behind either. Given that the cabin is set back so far, right behind that long stealth-like bonnet, I actually expected this car to be quite tight. However, having said that, it's actually quite spacious inside. The amount of legroom I had is I have is very comfortable. Someone taller than six foot one could easily slip in here as well. And the amount of headroom I have is quite significant. Not bad. And there's nothing unnecessary about it. Everything has a function and is relevant to what the driver needs. Basically, it's a bond car for the everyday driver, and I like that. The cabin has a very low-key retro styling. It's very simplified and is easy to use control and functionality for the driver, which means that you can get on with just what you need to do. Don't think, just drive, and I like that. One of the main key characteristics of this uh, cabin that I actually rather enjoy as well is the size of this steering wheel. The girth of the wheel is very impressive, actually. Both driver and passenger get front and side airbags, and there's a rollover safety system built into the body shell. The front of the car looks mean, yet it still maintains that retro feel. And to complement that beautiful rear end, the Z4 hosts a two-stage adaptive brake-like system that glows brighter than usual during hard braking, and if the car's anti-lock brake system kicks in. The exterior is bathed in what BMW call Interlagos Blue, which looks great in the daylight and stunningly stylish at night. The eye is easily caught on the curves, highlighting classic sports car as it flows back from the front lamps, down the sides and back up to exploit that rear wing. This car has a six-speed automatic transmission in it, which works pretty well in stop-start traffic, to be honest with you. 
However, every time I put my hand down on this gear lever, I can't help but feel that I wish it was a manual so I could just change gears, really fill the car and give it the beans. Having said that, however, if I do press this sport button down the bottom here, the rev count raises, and now I can use the paddle shifters. This car is rare, with only a little over 17,000 ever created worldwide. Price point lends itself to the young buyer that is looking for a sports car that is cheap and fun. However, if you are serious about cars, then this is a keeper for a collector that's willing to hold on to it for the next 15 to 20 years. My advice, make sure that the car you're looking at has a full service history, like this one, is clean, well maintained, like this one, is Australian delivered, like this one, and you should have yourself a little keeper that's set to appreciate in value in the future. But until then, you can just enjoy the ride as you go along. So get down to Italiano Prestige now. See Jamie, see what he can do for you, because this car won't be around for long. Italiano Prestige cars are located on 19 Boundary Road, Mordialic, Victoria. Or you can call them on 03 9587 9449